Hi guys, it's Light. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a ritual bath. This is really great if you're first starting out in witchcraft. I actually used to do these a lot before I even knew I was a witch. And what I really like about these rituals is they're really easy to change depending on what you want to manifest. But before we get into that, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and don't forget to subscribe. First step is you're going to tidy your bathroom. Not only are you going to tidy your bathroom, but you're going to clean your bathroom, like actually wipe things down and mop and declutter. I even take things out of my bathroom just so there's like less stuff cluttering up the energy because like, cleanliness is next to holiness, guys. After you clean your bathroom, you're going to clean yourself. That includes your whole body and your hair. Um, I even go as far as like shaving and exfoliating and like doing, doing all of it just so I'm ready because keep in mind this bath isn't the bathe, it's for a ritual, so you want to have already been bathed. After my shower, I also declutter my whole bath, so I basically take everything out that is used for bathing because that's not what I'm using this space for at the moment. Basically anything that you can remove, you should remove just to declutter the energy. And so you have room to decorate with all your pretty stuff. The ritual I'm gonna do is about money, so I'm actually going to use this candle Lonnie's sister gave us. It's a Lucky Flame candle. These are some of the crystals and rocks I'm working with. They're my favorite, and I'm going to be meditating with a clear quartz once my bath actually gets going. One thing to keep in mind is the things that are surrounding you in your bath, so make sure to use things that like make you happy or have energy that is similar to whatever you're trying to manifest. Another thing to keep in mind is your incense. I'm using cinnamon incense right here because it's my favorite and it smells really good and I also don't know how to use incense, so that's good. I'm also going to burn some Palo Santo. I've been obsessed with this stuff lately. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, look at that. It even makes me feel better just to, just to see it. And I'm going to use that to cleanse my area. There's like a million things that you can use to cleanse your area, but I prefer this. The smell isn't like too strong. So the stuff I'm actually going to be using in the bath water is I'm using this foaming bath Epsom salt stuff. Um, I'm going to put some sage mist into the water. And of course, I'm going to be using a bath bomb from Lush. This is the one I chose. It has very goddess vibes. It also has sandalwood in it, which is great for what I'm doing. Next step is to put on some soothing music. So I really like classical music. It makes me feel just like at peace and good. And it's like scientifically good for your brain. Don't quote me on that. That's what my science teacher used to tell me. So I always put on some classical music. I put it really low so it's not distracting, but it still sets the mood. Before my bath, I like to have tea just to get my body into the right state of being. And I've recently subscribed to Sip Spy. It's a subscription box that sends you different teas every month specialized for you and like what tea you like. And oh my gosh, guys, I was like really pleasantly surprised. I wasn't expecting to be that into it but all the teas they sent me are so freaking good. The one I'm drinking right now is Miracle Tree, the vanilla honey, and it is so perfect for rituals. Like, it tastes good. It just makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. I'm not even like a big tea drinker, but I really, really enjoyed it. If you guys want to try it out and get yourself a box, you can use my code LIGHT5 and it'll take $5 off your first box. I'll also link it down below so it's easier for you guys. Now, after all this preparation, it's finally time to actually run your bath. I like to actually sit in the bath while it's running and I'm putting everything in. Makes me feel like I'm in like a big cauldron, like a part of the potion, which is true. You are part of the potion. You are the magic behind the potion. So I'm not gonna show myself taking this ritual bath for obvious reasons, but also because um, these rituals and spells, they are very personal, um, so I wouldn't suggest you to do exactly what I'm doing or exactly like anyone else is doing. Not that we can't teach and learn from each other, but it is best to kind of do things your own way and make it your own. But I will give you guys the general idea of what I do while I'm in this bath. But like I said, everyone does everything different, so just keep that in mind. 
So while you're in the bath, you're going to put all of your items in the bath. So whether it's Epsom salt, flowers, other plants, herbs, whatever you're doing, make sure to imagine whatever you're trying to manifest the thing that you're pouring in, it's charged with the energy of that, if that makes any sense. You just have to imagine it and it'll be so. Here's me being a dork. I want to make a note that like, yes, spirituality is very serious, it's very personal, but it also should be like lighthearted and fun, if you know what I mean. So next you're just gonna take the bath. You're going to relax and try to keep your mind focused on the thing that you're trying to manifest. Next, you are going to meditate. So if you do have crystals or stones, you're going to hold them in the palm of your hand and meditate with them. If you don't know how to meditate, there are like a million videos on YouTube, even free guided meditations would work. But basically, I think of the thing I'm trying to manifest and I only think about that. If I catch myself messing up, thinking about something else, I just bring my mind back to what I want to think about. After you've done that for as long as you can, you're going to let the water drain and you're going to stay in the bathtub while it drains. This is like the most important part and I think the most effective part is staying in the water until it drains. The reason I do this is I imagine whatever I think is holding me back is in the water and it's draining out of my body. Your imagination is so powerful, so really, really focus on imagining that. And I usually say like a chant or something, it doesn't have to be anything really serious. The one I use for this is down, down the water goes as it does, my money grows. Kind of silly, but it rhymes, is cute, and it works really well. After the water is completely gone, you are free to get out of the bath and carry on with your day. I would try to take it easy or do this before bed so you can just go to sleep. And you guys are done. I hope you like this video. I hope your rituals go well. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on my social medias, and I'll see you guys next time.